Hi everyone, welcome to my shop. My name is Steve. Today I've got a little uh, video I want to present to you uh, concerning my uh, the uh, spray booth behind me. Uh, my building is, is pretty big and uh, I wanted to be able to contain the, the dust and uh, you know everything con concerned with uh, painting a car. So I was trying to come up with a temporary uh, spray booth arrangement where I wouldn't have to build walls and that sort of thing. But I, did, I didn't mind if a little bit of the dust got out, but I didn't want the whole place covered in, in dust. Uh, what I uh, did was I had some materials laying around the shop that I thought I could use to make it with. I had a big box of uh, VisiQueen polyurethane, whatever it is, that plastic sheeting that comes in a big roll. I had a couple boxes of that. I was originally going to put it underneath the concrete floor as a moisture barrier, but the concrete guy said, oh, no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> so I didn't do that. Uh, it was just sitting around in the box, uh, you know, getting old. And I had some other materials laying around that I wasn't using any longer. I had built some track lighting um, for my studio when I was in business. My my lights could be moved around, you know, because they, they were hanging from the ceiling on these railings. I had rails. Uh, I went to uh, St. Louis to uh, one of the big camera shops over there and uh, and looked at their professional lighting. Um, I looked at it and I thought, you know, that's that's not that hard to make, and uh, if it lasts a few years and, and I have to replace it, so be it. Uh, what they were selling was extruded aluminum, and it was, you know, it was just nice. I mean, no, no question about it. The stuff was was well engineered and and did what it was as designed. But I didn't want to invest that much money into uh, things to get my wires off the floor. So I uh, I what I did was I, I took some two by fours and my table saw. I put a, a, a set of dado a stack of uh, dado blades in my table saw to uh, make uh, channels in the sides of uh, a couple of two by fours that I had. Um, ended up I had some pretty long ones and, and I made them a length of a uh, couple, almost the length of my studio camera room which was about 16, 18 feet. Uh, so I ended up with like some 14 footers and some 6 footers and uh, anyway. The dado blade, um, uh, I milled both sides, uh, cut uh, grooves in both sides. And, and then I cut them on the top as well, so I had actually two on each side that, uh, and allowed me to attach it to the ceiling in an in easy way. Uh, so let me show you one thing I got here. In the dado blade, um, or in the dado slot where I mail, milled the holes in the wood, uh, I made these little strips out of aluminum, bent, bent these out of aluminum. And I had, <laughs> I had, you know, I've got stuff just laying around sometimes. You just find what you have laying around. And I had a, a five-gallon bucket full of these little ball bearings, um, which I discovered many years ago what they're for. They're replacement bearings for file cabinets. And they just rivet. They got a little place on the back to rivet on. Uh, you know, they, they're... They're fine for the for the job I was doing with them. Uh, I also found that uh, skateboard uh, bearings um, are the same size, but there's a hole through them, and you can put a bolt. You can bolt them together. Uh, you can also use um, shower door uh, rollers. There's all sorts of, of sources uh, to make these out of. And then I just formed up uh, <clears throat> some some one inch uh, aluminum put a hole in the bottom and I fashioned a hook to go on the, uh, to hold up the, uh, the VisiQueen. One of the other things I had uh, just laying around is, uh, has, would be, and, and these are, are um, clips to actually for, for backgrounds and uh, fabric you can uh, canvas, tarps, whatever. Any sporting goods shop will sell these kinds of things to Attached tarps so you can 
hook it, they lay the material uh, across here, and uh, let's see what they got here. Okay, so if I had this piece of plastic here, I could take this and lay this on here, and then lay this in like that, pull it tight, and now that's securely, it's going to tear the plastic before it pulls out. It'll just rip that plastic right off. Uh, they make these for tents. Uh, I think uh, your, any sporting goods shop will have them. Uh, where I got these is um, Reef Industries Incorporated. I'll put the phone number in the description so that you can uh, call them. I did call and the number is still good. So uh, if you want to order these, they come I think 25 in a, in a pack. Uh, and they weren't very expensive. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for them it was too many years ago. Uh, but I've kept them uh, just around for things like this. So what I want to do now is kind of show you the size of my of the space I've got. It goes to my front door, or the front of the building, and then it comes back uh, 20, 25 feet uh, long, and I'm a good... 12, let's see here, uh, 10 feet, 10 feet wide, the door's, the door's 10 foot wide, or is it 12 foot wide? I think it's 10 foot wide and 12 foot high, yeah, yeah, the door's 10 foot wide and uh, 12 foot high door. So my ceilings run 14 foot and the plastic, uh, when it attached to the ceiling and it hangs down, I've got a little bit left over, so it, it acts as a skirt to keep any dust from getting out. So, uh, this is my clean room or dirty room, whichever way you want to look at it. It keeps the, keeps the dirt out, and, uh, but it's also a pretty clean room when you clean it up. It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, and I've been able to paint the, my cord and now I'm working on these fenders. Got the fenders, uh, front fenders are getting, getting there, get, coming along. Let me take you back out here. I just wanna, I'm gonna extend this uh, stand I've got the camera on. I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna stick this up in the air and let you kind of see. I think that gets up there. Oh yeah, that's almost to the ceiling. So you can see how those are. Now right, right there, those are two that are attached together um, on the one on the left and the one on the right or ends of the plastic and they overlap so they don't come apart. In other words, I took the left one and hooked it to the right one and the right one I hooked to the left one. So uh, they're attached, they won't come apart at the top up there. So I, when I'm working in the down here, I just use a couple of clamps and, uh, and and close up the close it up that way with just a couple of, of uh, spring clamps. I I mentioned once before I was going to talk about this and it just slipped my mind. Never did, so I'm doing it now. So if you have any questions or comments, please uh, uh, let me have them. <laughs> uh, let me have it. Yeah, let me have it. Uh, I'd love to have your comments uh, and uh, any questions. Uh, but thanks for watching guys uh, it was a quick video hope it, uh, I can come up with a few more for you see you later thanks bye bye